How do I change my mindset to overcome addiction? <laughs> Fuck, if it were only that simple. It is an absolute great question that I believe needs to be heard. This is my story, and, and as you know, or maybe you don't know, the complexity and the severity of the disease of addiction proves that it's not a one-size-fits-all. It's not a black and white, do A, you get B. And that's why, unfortunately, more so than not, people don't find sobriety. I didn't get to where I'm at now because I was a fool or I just couldn't catch on. That wasn't my problem. I got to not only where I'm at now, but where I was at prior to sobriety, meaning homelessness, incarceration, institutionalizations. I, I kept ending up in all these good or bad positions because I was too smart for my own good. Out of addiction, I wouldn't have ended up in a 12-step program where we collectively together do it as a team, right? But what I learned is that I'm not capable of outthinking myself out of addiction. I'm not. My experience, my past experience, the resume I just gave you that came as a direct result of my drinking and drugging proves to me that I can't outthink myself out of the situation that I found myself in. But what I could do, I can't change my thinking, but what I could do is I could change my behaviors. And what happened is when I started changing my behaviors, meaning I, I took heed to those slogans they told me, like, if you don't pick it up, it can't get in you. Feelings aren't facts, feelings pass. No need to act off impulse. I started remaining sober against my better judgment. When I wanted to have a drink, I didn't have a drink and I allowed that feeling to pass just like they told me and I realized, holy shit, feelings aren't facts. So I started changing my behaviors. I would go to work 15 minutes early. I would stay 15 minutes late. I would wake up in the morning. I would make my bed. I would get on my knees. I would pray to the God of my understanding to allow me to have another day clean and sober. I started changing my behaviors. And what happened in changing my behaviors, then my beliefs started to follow. And now that psychic change has taken place, which allows me to think nothing like I thought the day that I walked into sobriety. Hence my recovery being very easy for me. I, my, my, my disease never, sh I can't tell you about the last time I thought that a drink or a drug looked appealing. And that's a miracle. But again, the only reason why I got to where I'm at today is because I failed so many times. <laughs> my sponsor always tells me a hard head makes for a soft ass. And my ass is extremely, extremely soft. You know, but I've, I took heed to all of those failures and I've learned how to succeed by not failing in the same way again. I hope that it makes some sense to you. Because again, if we could outthink ourselves out of the disease of addiction and or alcoholism, there would not be a, an abundance of treatment centers in every state across the world. <laughs> Together we can do this. Divide it, I try to think for myself because I know what's best for myself and I continue to kill myself on a daily basis. I know I just gave you a lot and I hope you can kind of process that. But that was a good question that I really enjoyed answering. Thanks, man. Thanks for, thanks for getting me going. <laughs>